the biggest, biggest misconception that we have as human beings is that we got to do everything alone. Every single person in this world has a spirit guide. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ishpreet and I am a money and manifestation coach. I help you see how you can literally achieve anything you want in your life and then I help you achieve exactly that. Today's video is going to be very, very special because this is going to help you see that you are not alone. The biggest, biggest misconception that we have as human beings is that we got to do everything alone. We got to solve our problems by ourselves. We got to figure things out by ourselves. If there is something in front of us that we don't know how to deal with, we got to have an answer to that by ourselves. But this video is going to help you see that you don't need to have all the answers. You don't need to go through it all alone and you are not alone. And the reason for that is the non-physical realm. The reason for that is that every single person in this world has a spirit guide. Somebody in the non-physical that is watching over them, that is protecting them, that is somehow giving them the answers and the guidance and the protection. You know, those instances where it just feels like, oh my my God, how did this land in my life at the exact moment when I need it? It could be an idea, it could be an intuition, it could be a person, it could be just anything at all or when things are just not going your way and then suddenly something happens and it's like a miracle, suddenly things are now going your way. Now these things are not exactly coincidences. This could be your spirit guide helping you out. Now the first thing, what exactly are spirit guides really? These are these non-physical entities like I said who are always there to guide us, protect us and they're always watching over us and we all have one, we all have one. Now these could look like someone close who's passed on, maybe a, dis a diseased someone, a friend or family member, it could be them. You must have heard a lot of names of these angels, right? Rachel and uh, Raphael and Michael, all these names, if you have not heard, just Google them up and you will sort of see more about it. But honestly speaking, I have not really done a lot of research on the number of spirit guides that are out there, what exactly do they do and all that stuff. I just know that there is something with me, that I just know there's a power with me. Even if I have a name for it or if I don't. Now, when I say that, I mean that even you have a spirit guide, but the thing is that they will never come forward to help you, guide you, assist you until and unless you ask for help. Until and unless you believe you have that faith. That is exactly why some people live a life of miracles, while some people are kind of like lost and confused and alone. Like alone in the sense that, you know, when, when situations like these pop up. Now you can either choose to place your faith in that area where, you know, you don't believe in all of these things and so on. And you can live a life that really is not very exciting when it comes to magic and miracles that are possible for you. Or you can fall into the category where you choose to believe that there is a spirit guide, that there is an angel that's been looking after you and you choose to place your faith and you see the magic unfold and you see how things start happening for you. So yeah, I mean, choose the category first of all here. So like I said, they will never offer you help until and unless you want it. Now, in order to know who your spirit guide is, it's very simple. Let's do the simple thing. Pause this video and I want you to close your eyes and take a deep breath and calm yourself for a few seconds, even for a minute or two. Just calm yourself until you feel a little relaxed and you feel like that, 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 that that's, that's a little less now at this point in time. And I want you to ask yourself that question. What is the name of my spirit guide? Show me the name or the face of my spirit guide. Ask yourself that question and just sit in that moment with a sense of relaxation and ease. Stay there for a few seconds and let that come to you. Now this would mean maybe a person's face who has, like I said, passed on, maybe their face shows up for you or maybe a name shows up for you. It just comes out of nowhere, okay? Trust that. Do not let your logical mind and analytical mind sort of come in there and be like, oh, but this and but this, that. Maybe I'm just making this up or it could feel like you're making it up or things like that, but just trust it. Just trust it. And even if it did not exactly come for you, do it again. Go back and do it again. 
just calm yourself and it will come to you you will have a strong sense of knowing now that's the first thing now how do you exactly communicate or talk to your spirit guides or your angels again it's very simple take a journal or again be in this centered position where you're relaxed and at ease and either you say a prayer out loud or in your mind that goes something like i am open and receiving to seeing your presence around me i'm willing to feel your presence around me please talk to me please communicate with me please show me a sign you can even ask for a sign yourself for example a lot of people are like you know what show me this 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 sign very specific you know maybe a certain colored butterfly or maybe a certain colored something ask them to show their presence to you and that you are opening your heart to that presence to feeling that presence that is one thing or if you're taking the journal write this exact thing down in your journal as well now this would be the start of your beautiful connection with the non-physical and by the way you will get an answer you will get some communication and you will just know you will know if you ask for something specific you will see it and you will know now the second thing is and let's say if you're stuck in a particular situation and you don't know how to exactly get out of it those moments where you feel alone those moments where you don't see a way out where you feel stuck what do you do the number one thing that i want you to know is that you are not alone if you have a confusion even if you have that doubt that you don't know whether to go for this or this if you have a doubt like that again do the same either sit in that prayer position calm yourself down and say it out aloud or write it in your journal saying something like i am so grateful for your guidance over this 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 we don't want to sound needy and desperate we don't want to be like oh i'm please help me and you know this and that you can just be like you can express your gratitude even before it's happened because you know that guidance is going to come through so you express your gratitude in that manner and you you talk on the lines of i am so grateful that i received this guidance from you i'm so grateful that this situation just eased itself out so easily you know it just solved itself so easily thank you for showing me the answers thank you for this or that you can also keep this under your pillow while you're going off to bed and just let it be just let things go let it be and carry on with your day next day i promise you again you will receive some or the other communication which can come in the form of a song it can come in the form of you overhearing someone say something that you exactly needed to hear or it could be something on instagram that you see you know a message that you just meant to see just something else that speaks to you when something speaks to you when something's meant for you you will know that it's for you that this was not a coincidence that you just like saw this so trust that and let it go i cannot tell you how many times in my life have i done this and made surrendering a part of this process as well and i have just gotten out of some of the worst situations of my life and i'm going to give you like two of the examples there i'm going to link one of the videos also here okay so surrendering is a huge part of this whole process because when you put your faith and trust in something you truly trust that I totally believe that either you trust something or you don't. You trust someone or you don't. There is no in between, okay? So it's either a yes or no. There's no gray, black or white. So, if you really trust in this process, if you're truly writing it with faith that I am so grateful that this situation turned out exactly how it was supposed to, it solved itself, you trust that. And it's almost like you made someone else in charge of sorting something out for you. Sometimes the best thing that you can do is not doing anything. I know this sounds bizarre but that's true. The best thing that you can do is just be like, you know what? It's not my responsibility anymore. Like I'm I'm passing this on to you and now this is your responsibility and it's like your pillar of support. So you give it off to them, you pass it on to them and you just like, I know this will be taken care of. I know that this will like all the answers that I need to have. I'm going to have those answers. You sit with that confidence. That surrendering is a part of this whole thing and when you do that, you will see the answers come to you. You will see things open up for you. I have gotten out of such a messy chaotic relationship because of this. I remember not seeing any way out. It was like I couldn't get out and I couldn't stay in. And then one day I wrote this exact thing in my journal like I'm so grateful that you know this has just like mutually understanding each other it's just sorted out and blah 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 something something i wrote i don't know what happened in the next few days it's all sorted and it was so chaotic that i can't even begin to tell you the second instance when i lost my passport i lost my passport for like 8 months okay i'm going to link it up here the video the entire 
entire video that I made on it. Again, I panicked for two days and then I was like, no, I know something is going to take care of this. I know that. And I surrendered and I said this prayer and I surrendered. Things happened one after another. It was like a series of events that led me to finally manifest my passport back. Trust, faith, and surrendering is the absolute foundation here and I'm telling you your life is going to look so magical when you start believing in this energy in this in this power that there is someone always watching over you and when you sort of bring that into your vocabulary in the way that you talk I am telling you it's going to change your life like my narrative every time that I'm out let's say I'm traveling or even in general when someone asks me you know that how things are like always working out for you blah 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 or even if they're not saying that I'm always the one to say that you know what I have a feeling that something is watching over me I have a feeling that something is always taking care of me like I'm always protected I just know that I know that I'm always protected even if I'm in a situation or even if something dangerous comes near me I don't have to worry about it because it will be taken care of something or the other will happen which will take me away from that situation and it always does I've been in situations where I could have lost my life multiple times like I was at the edge that's that's for a different video but I was at the edge of losing my life so many times and I've always gotten saved and like people would be like how like that seemed like a miracle and that was a miracle yeah but I know that there was someone watching over me so that's that's pretty much about it your life just starts to look a lot more magical filled with all of these things little things that people don't really understand but don't be one of those people go ahead and live a life of absolute magic and where miracles are normal where magic is normal where these instances are normal and you're going to see that it does become normal so yeah that's pretty much about it if you have any questions about this please drop it down in the comments below i would love to answer them for you don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and i'm going to see you in my next video Bye.